Hi everyone and welcome, I'm Snookies. Today we're gonna start off a new campaign called American Independence. And just as you might have guessed, it's um, a campaign where we're gonna play as the United States of America just at the eve of the Revolutionary War. We're starting from the uh, yearly tag of 1776, 4th of July. And I'm gonna play an Iron Man because hopefully we're gonna um, succeed with an achievement called Liberty or Death, which calls for us to have um, a core on all of our provinces and be at peace. So we have to achieve that before the end of the game, which is 1812, um, I think, 1824, something, whatever. Um, so yeah, and it seems to be a bit of a theme with me these days to play uh, independence campaigns, but you know, they're fun, so. I'm uh, gonna just take a little quick look at the options here. We're gonna play on, um, well, the same options as we did um, as we do in every other campaign. Um, yeah, nothing special there. Anything else? We're gonna take a look at the ideas and stuff when we jump in. So let's just start it off here. Yeah, and down we go. You hear the sound of war raging as soon as you jump into the game. Nothing better. Okay, so... That's pretty cool. i never done this before, so uh, this should be interesting. Do we start off with any trade ships? Or co of course we do. They shouldn't really be of any use since we're, we're at war with Britain, so we're gonna need lots of heavy ships instead. We have eight, so that's something. Um, okay, so let's start with our ideas. American ideas, we've got a bunch of idea groups already finished. Uh, you get... Our tradition gives us one merchant and 20% religious unity and yearly republican tradition. Then we have freedom religion, so no re negative religious tolerance, which is cool. And Bill of Rights, national unrest, very nice. Uh, another colonist, Empire of Liberty. Lessons of Valley Forge, more of armies, uh, Workshop of the World, Goods Produced Modifier plus 15%. Um, Shining City on a Hill, Yearly Prestige, and Indian Removal, Permanent Castle Battle Against Primitives. Alright, that sounds great. Um, a mission. Which should we actually like to take a look at the idea groups before we move on? Plutocratic, trade, economic, defensive, maritime, administrative, and offensive. Um, this should all be well. I would like another military idea group. Um, we are working on one, uh, but I'd like something like um, quality, wouldn't have heard. But uh, I'm sure this is fine. Um, our president is Edward Saunders. Okay. Um, we have negative military because we have eight leaders. <laughs> All right, let's kick some of these, should we? Shall we? Um, Washington seemed to be one of the best. Where very uh, quite a lot of um, maneuver, not lo a lot of um, anything else really. Benedict Arnold, as I'm sure most people know, um, is might betray us. I don't know if there's any event for it, but it would be cool if it were. So we're gonna keep that guy. We can have two leaders, so we're gonna kick... Well, everyone else except Bernard Aldo, Benedict Arnold and George Washington. I think... I think that's the most... Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the most reasonable approach. And of course, the Revolutionary Army, the Continental Army, is gonna be led by Orch. Hopefully he gets a cool trait after his first battle. We can convert a bunch of uh, places. Um, not the highest priority, I think. They aren't gonna revolt, so that's not an issue either. Native policy. Well, since our capital isn't the new world, I don't really see why we would need the native coexistence policy. We could just as well take native repression. Um, of course, we already have 100 settlers. And this is what 
is what I was gonna check if maybe we could take any policies. Um, how how are our how is our um, economy looking? Let's let's check that out. Uh, we have some corruption from embezzlers. Okay, that's not great. <laughs> we could probably do without any more um, economic policies. Although maybe a merchant would be nice. We have um, a lot of merchants, so okay, maybe probably we don't need need another one. Another one. Um, no, I, I I think we can handle ourselves without another merchant. Um, trade power abroad could be nice. Ship costs, trade efficiency. Uh, I don't know, another one policy I'd like would be a military one, but we don't have a lot to choose from, so um, probably not right now anyway. Possibly getting the artillery compatibility as something, but that's uh, later down the line. So let's uh, check out these decisions, if there's anything we want to choose here. Tolerance of heretics doesn't matter, as uh, you might, have, might remember from uh, this. Exactly, so that shouldn't be an issue at all. Active uniformity, sure, no negative side there. Uh, convent conventicle act, sure, doesn't give any negative side effect. Um, test act, sure. If we are really ambitious, maybe we could even uh, rush a Panama Canal before the end of the game. Wouldn't hold my breath though. Um, okay, so where is Karu? Oh, call nice. Um, we're not gonna do that. I can promise that from the get go. Oneida then. Can't remember, is this Oneida? Okay, let's Google it. Okay, sure, we can do that. Are you allied with anyone? No? Okay. Uh, so let's go with native repressive or... Let's go with native trading. That's fine. A little uh, compromise be between the two extremes. And we should probably start... Um, Converting as soon as possible. Let's take this mission then, simply because we get the manpower recovery speed and prestige, which is gonna be a nice boost when uh, the Germans start shipping over their Hessians. I don't know if they're actually gonna use Hessians, but they did historically, so let's pretend. Uh, moral armies, probably. Yeah, I think so. Um, our economy is looking fine. Actually, what is our biggest boon to the economy? It's trade, and that's gonna be disturbed, I think. Uh, we should get an Admiral when we can afford one. Uh, okay, let's see here. We have the major um, trade power here. We have some estates which we can demand some money from, and some diplomatic support. Probably, some, probably something we should do. I'm gonna offer up some... Um, Prestige for increased influence, which means we can get more Diplo power. And then, then I'm gonna wait for a while or give the burgers some more uh, Some more areas. Oh, this is our capital. My bad. Um, good old Philadelphia. Okay, let's just pick some place, um, preferably somewhere which were historically a trading port or something. Uh, oh, I don't know. Games River, sure. Or let's just go with Delaware and 
Delaware and Baltimore as well, maybe. Is that enough to get them over 50? It is. So um, let's go with that. Their influence is going to be increased to 73. That's fine. And then we can ca pocket the cash as well, which will uh, be a necessary thing to do, I think. Diplomatic relation or better relation over time. I think that's an obvious one. And national arrest, maybe? I don't see us having an arrest problem, but we might after all the war exhaustion. And the war goal is to defend Philadelphia, so uh, we shouldn't have an, a lot, a huge issue succeeding with that. The only big thing is that Newfoundland um, might send down troops, which will be an issue. Anyway, the last advisor, let's go with... Um, Yeah, well, production is barely gonna give us anything. We barely have any production income. As the build cost shouldn't matter. Uh, we, we don't really afford. We can't really afford them. Stability increase anyway. So let's go with the um, natural arrest one. And we get another decision. We will not take that one. Sorry. Um. Okay, so we have one for two forts. This one is uh, a star fort, and this one is a um, fortress. So this one is fully leveled, and this one is the uh, second to closest, uh, fullest leveled. Um, okay. How is our naval force limit looking? I'm sorry this is taking so much time, um, already all half the episode, but um, there's a lot of things to shake down and, um, well, we don't want to be um, un, um, unprepared when uh, the British arrive. Okay, so we don't have any ports, I'm guessing, which is unfortunate. So let's build... Um, I don't know. At the same time, I have, I have a feeling we won't have any real um, chance against Britain anyway. So let's send these guys down to Charleston just to uh, be protected in the fort port. And um, I'm thinking we should probably get some barracks to increase our force limit. Is that a good idea? I, f I feel like it is. Also, I want to check if maybe France is willing to, um... No, okay. Let's get a, not a barrack, um... A conscription center down, um... Somewhere with a lot of development. Or somewhere somewhat protected, so maybe Lewis will. Louis will. Um, I don't know if there's any event, event with France, with France um, so I'm gonna send an approval relation with them anyway. Same with Spain, just in case we might be able to drag them into the war. Uh, the last one we're gonna save for any offensive actions. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Let's uh, start off slowly here, see if any events pop up. We're the first in the world, and that's, uh, well, it's the truth, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so we have a revolt up here. Can increase the speed a bit. Okay. Alright, institutions, I forgot to check those. Let's check them right now. Tech-wise, we are, um, well, we're not ahead of time, not behind either. We have all of the tech institution. Oh, holy hell. Amazing. That's great, actually. So that won't be an issue either. Cool. Okay. Um, how did the Iroquois do? They have some? One? They, they have the Renaissance. Okay. They're level 10 military. We are, we are level 27. Okay, so they shouldn't be an issue to just wipe out quite quickly as well, just to get a little bit more of um, a tax base for our uh, 
military or manpower. Okay, so the Boston Post Road. The roads have been used as long as any can remember. The Upper Post Road, for example, was called the Pico Path by Native Americans, and some of these trails were at time as narrow as two feet. The Boston the Boston Post Road is to be a road through Manhattan, Connecticut, Narragansett, and Massachusetts, using some of the old native trails to deliver mail transported by post riders. Plenty of organizations need plenty of organization need to be done. Uh, mile posts to be measured, measured and r- routes to be established. Why would the best? Who would be the best to sort this out? The administration, the army, or the diplomatic corps? Okay, so we're lacking in. I really don't want to fall behind on military, so I think we're gonna go with um, military. And the army tradition is just a nice boost to it as well. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Fuck. They above. Okay, cool. Um, all right, let's get this party started, shall we? Shall we? Um, all right, the great na- nations. I'm guessing we are not one of those. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> A bit of false hope there. Okay, so Paroda, which is in India, and Kataviar, which is in India as well. Princedoms. That's cool. And an empire. And uh, they're not gonna cause us any trouble, I'm um, guessing. So let's just get this war over quickly. That one's the best, I think. All primitives means all provinces, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. It should mean that we will get the um, Ticking War score right from the first battle as well. So that's nice as well. <laughs> I'm quite um, happy about Newfoundland actually not being at war with us. Is there any chance we could... Um, Okay, so let's build a spy network in Britain. Hopefully we can hopefully we can get it above 90 and then we can turn all of the Americas against um, all Britain. Okay. So Algiers is an uh, is a vessel. Russia is freaking huge. We, we can't forget to buy Alaska from them later on. I don't even know if Alaska has been colonized, I don't think it has. But um, when they have, when, when it has, when it, yeah. So let's split up our army. Sure, up, Naki, go ahead. We possibly should start colonizing somewhere if there's any free areas. I don't suppose we can reach over here. Nope. Af- Africa, free still, maybe? I would like to uh, develop a uh, colonial nation that could help us out. Which would get us a lot of money as well. A loan offer. How uh, how generous of you. Come on now. Is this gonna be a thing? That's not what I meant. Okay. Uh, let's drop Spain. It's gonna take 50 freaking days. I thought we just established the Boston Road. Of course, maybe that doesn't go over the Atlantic. Um, okay, so, I mean, oh, the bridge have arrived. I feel like a failure now. Okay, 
let's move to Philly. Try to um, consol consolidate our forces. This shall be done. From the Sons of Liberty group, uh, groups grew many committees of safety to discuss and spread awareness of the concern of the time. The end consisted of every male adult in the community. The local militias are under control of the committees and the committees keep watching the distrusted royal government of Great Britain. John Hancock has suggested that these committee, committee, committees for safety, which has been operating government of all the colonies until the Confre Confederation Congress, will keep control over the mil militias and be given power to call out mandatory militia, with penalties for falling to respond to a call-up and provide means of defense. That sounds great. And we're gonna take a loan, uh, which is fine. We might actually start considering taking these loans that are offered to us. It's better than being in debt to um, well, a non-existent entity. Right, forgot about this. Thanks for the money. And uh, let's. Yeah, that sounds fine. And now we got uh, extra manpower uh, recovery. And then we're gonna go with improve our prestige, and hopefully we can achieve that. No negative. Or, well, no positive unrest anywhere, not even in our newly colonized lands. That's amazing, that's great, exactly what we needed to hear. Um, because we, we have a lot of a lot of infantry, we shouldn't get any more, we should get a lot of more of those. Something like that. And we're gonna take another loan, but that's fine, we're actually in the... Well, not in positives, that's, that was the... Um, the reparations from the war there. Which is fine. Um, we might go into a lot of that before we win this war, but that's really fine as well. Okay, you know, well, for a second I thought they were building um, cannons here. Which would have been ridiculous, would have taken a hundred years. Okay, so now we have a sizable army. Possibly we can uh, uh, oppose the British, finally. How many... How is it looking? Let's get another three or so redcoats. Redcoats? Alright. I mean, I suppose it's the official name of the infantry class, but still. Hills? No thanks, no thanks. Would we will get there on the 12th and they on the 10th? Um, we should still be fine. They have a 3 3 4 and we have a 2 2 6. This is where your your torsion tongue come in, so that's cool. We will not get a crossing penalty due to your torsion tongue. Oh, okay, we did get one. No, that's just a terrain roll. Cool. Come on, George, beat these suckers. Oh, you got it. We broke their line. They broke ours as well, but we're... Well, we consolidated and we beat them back. We lost a lot of troops, but that's fine because we used... Oh, okay, it might not be fine, but... Um, it's alright because we used um, a bunch of mercenaries. So let's see where these guys are going. There might be they might be going quite uh, quite a while. Okay, you know what? Forget about them. Well, unless they go to Toronto. If they do, we'll catch them. Otherwise, we'll uh, move back up to up to New England. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Maybe we can uh, get some help from the burgers eventually. Okay, so they're gonna just keep walking. Possibly we can, um, hopefully we can possibly um, siege down Toronto before these guys become a real issue. Let's um, 
recruit the help of some <clears throat> some units over here. Okay, they're not. Um... Come on now. They aren't fleeing anymore, so we can actually um, uh, wipe them out if we can catch them. Which we might be able to. I don't know. Hopefully. Can we Ottawa? Come on. Okay. Hopefully we can catch them from this angle. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Um, just gonna wait to the end of the month. And then we're gonna consolidate. Shift consolidate. And then we're gonna catch them. Ooh, come on. I know we can do it, George. Come on, Georgie. Ah. He has to roll the zero. I missed the pass, but he rolled the zero. Oh, come on. Yeah, too late, but still. Um... Yeah, that was, a, that was a fine bell. I suppose we only need white piece. Which we should get eventually. We, we still have the war goal. Um, are you kidding me? Are we gonna get there? Well, 29th. What a target. What a target. Come on. Come on. You see George. Come on. George, don't roll once. Don't roll twos either. What are you doing? Oh, a nine. Come on. Save this. Ah. How did you win this war, George? Explain that to me, please. I don't know it's blasphemy to even suggest that maybe George Washington could do any fault, but you know. He's fucking sucky. He's a sucky ducky. Okay, um, how long is this? Right, they're not even in the war. Okay, let's uh, march away. Try to avoid all of the angry British people following us. Actually, let's, as soon as we... Sure, the first circumnavigation happened 1778. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's... Shift consolidate and let's dump all of our uh, red coats. Um, I mean, um, non mercenary, what's it called? Recru regiments. Non mercenary regiments. Let's go kick that one's ass. Let's go take Savannah. We actually um, stem the lead, both because of this and because. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's try and protect trade here in Chesapeake Bay. And let's set this to any damage, so if they do get into an abel, they will um, repair themselves as soon as they can. Let's also take another loan, which I know might sound stupid, but it's actually quite necessary. 14, yep, that should be, should be good. How, how large are, how large is our army? Uh, 27, 31, which isn't big enough, actually, surprisingly enough. Let's spread out here and keep an eye out for the British, uh, and so we can siege all of this down much quicker. I don't want these two armies to, um, Um, consolidate and uh, form a united front, that would be um, a bit of a hassle. Okay, so we converted New Haven, I think it was. So now let's go for New Hampshire. Hampshire? New Hampshire. Because all shares are made of hemp. All good shares. Um, yeah. This is, well, it's going all right. And I wasn't really ready for them having 50,000 troops to begin with. Uh, should we check them out, maybe, in the military ledger? Britain. They have no mercenaries. Four. That's a bit ahistorical. 
don't you think? Paradox. A paradox. Um, yep, yeah, got all the sieges. What do you think? You think we can uh, catch them out somewhere? National arrest. The Dunlop broadside. Copies of the Declaration of Independence are printed and spread throughout the colonies under the supervision of the same committee who wrote the document. The 29 year old Irish immigrant Dunlap was given a job and spent the night of July 4th setting type, correcting it, and running off the broadside sheets. The commander in chief of the Continental Army, George Washington, directed the troops that directed the troops would have the declaration read to them. For 20 years, we get less unrest, which sounds Optimal, really. Um, you know what? I feel like... I think we should splurge a bit <laughs> on our troops. We are a strong independent nation after all. That just uh, proved that we are independent. Okay, everyone get into a favorable position. Wyoming Valley seems uh, decent enough. And then we're gonna discard of George Washington because he's not very good and uh, we have a trader that's much, that is much better. Um, should we actually risk getting... how far are we to... we could really use all of these actually. Are we focusing on should have focused on military from the start. That's my fault. Big boo boo on my part. Oh, fuck, 47,000 troops. How the hell? I mean, they are suffering a lot of attrition. Is there any chance we could uh, get France on our side? They are rivaled to England. In, in France, is there... What the hell is happening here? Spanish Revolution. Oh, so Spain is gonna become a... Uh, a republic. Cool. Naples is still alive. We have... Um, Serena Piedmont. Sorry, I'm just taking a, bit, a little bit of time here. Just looking around. Um, the Commonwealth has... St get stuck on some uh, issues there. Sweden has some holdings in northern Germany. Okay. Uh, they have a lot of... huge amount of... Um, of infantry. And a huge lot of um, cavalry. And not a lot of... Um, uh, artillery and I think that might be to our favor if we can lure them into a hill or a mountain position which we seem to be doing right now so hopefully they're gonna march right at me and in 14 days we're gonna have another uh, 10 or so units that's gonna back us up apparently not um, they're getting there on the 4th, we're getting there on the 4th. We have 4, four maneuver, they have 4 maneuver. Um, okay, this could be a bit of an issue. Come on, give me Britain, thanks. Um, what I would like would be... You know what, I've run <laughs> over the time for a whole, well, almost 20 minutes. That's um, <laughs> that's my freaking mistake. And I also locked us in here. Well, okay, we're in it now, boys. I'm, uh, yeah, I am gonna save it here. I'm gonna end the episode, take a little break. Freaking, yeah. And hopefully I'll see you next time when we are gonna fight a ruthless battle in Rochester. Rochester. And please leave a like if you like this new series, um, it's uh, hard for me to gauge otherwise and it shows a lot of support and it helps a lot on YouTube. 
and please consider subscribing if this is something you would like to see more of. So anyway, have a, have a great Independence Day, sort of, and I'll see you next time. Bye!